Alright boys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a data store in less than 5 minutes. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I already made a video like this on the same exact plugin, but I've updated the plugin and I want to show you guys what this is all about. So basically, if you guys don't have the plugin, uh, you can go in the description and get it. This is the data store created by me, and basically what it does is it makes data store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create it, and then in the server script service, you can see that this was inserted into the server script service. If you've had this plugin before, you will notice that these are different. This is like all new in here. Uh, so let's just run this down. This folder, anything inside of here will go into the player. And this is the configuration, including autosave and if you want to save or not. So I'm going to create a folder called leader stats, which if you don't know, will make a leaderboard in the top right corner. Most games have it. Now you can see leader stats was inserted. And reopen the plugin and add a number value. And let's call this one. Make it bricks. I don't know. I don't even care, honestly. I don't think you guys understand how many times I've recorded this video. It's literally insane. Basically, you put in a name, you put in where the parent should go, and then you put in the value you want it to start at and it should boom bam and boom now when you join the game you should see that bricks are in our leader sets with no data no data bricks perfect let's run down the configuration of the data store so there's auto save data version and saving saving it's a bool value on and off if you want it to save or not data version this is if you want to reset everyone's stats you would change this number right here to a value that has not been changed to before and auto save this is how many minutes in between each auto save so right now i've set it to five but i can set it to like one minute or two minutes even and if it's set to zero then there will be no auto saving but if it's one or above then that's how many minutes in between each auto save it will save and yeah that's basically it before you publish the game make sure to go to security inside of game settings and security Security and click this button right here enable studio access to api services or else you get an error so if you guys have the same problem where you're adding currency from a local script then go watch the remote event tutorial i have on my channel because that will help you immensely and that'll make the data actually save if you guys do like this content then make sure to like and subscribe i'll try and post more scripting tutorials i've just been a little behind with school and baseball and everything so i've got a lot going on but yeah so i'll see you on the next one